How's it going guys? Thanks for joining me and Poppy again. Uh, back out in the Lake District National Park. I've um, just come down to this fairly large lake. Um, spent about 45 minutes to an hour walking around trying to find a suitable location to camp on the shoreline. Uh, and luckily I managed to find a nice patch of uh, silver birch trees and uh, managed to get the hammock up and the tarp above me. Pretty cool setup. So that hammock, really comfortable for sleeping in, but also somewhere nice to sit for the day and keeping us off the ground. Um, especially why I say this, but it's quite buggy as well. So the mosquito net is keeping us protected. Um, and I've got the under blanket on there, uh, keeping us warm. Stops any uh, wind coming through in the night time and uh, keeping us uh, nice and warm. The tarp, I've just got to set up. I had to use a few rocks in places to, to keep the guy lines uh, in position. Um, but the top end, I've just got that quite enclosed. Uh, and at this lakeside end here, I've got it open still. So when I'm sat in my hammock, um, I can look out and uh, still see the, the nice view of the lake. But yeah, pretty cool, uh, nice little uh, location to camp. It's my birthday tomorrow, so um, I'm really pleased I managed to get out tonight and spend a few hours camping with Poppy uh, and obviously wake up here tomorrow on my birthday. Um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, I've got a few beers to have. I'm going to cook a steak later on. So yeah, it should be a good evening. So I brought the bigger fishing rod with me today as well and a few more lures. So I'm going to put that together and spend a few hours fishing. Uh, hopefully we'll have better luck than we did uh, on the previous video. But yeah, for now guys, what I need to do is uh, build a fire pit. Um, keep us uh, fire contained later on and gather some firewood and once I've done all that um, I'm going to get the fishing gear put together and head down to the lake uh, to do some fishing for a few hours
Right, so I'm back from fishing now. Just been sat chilling out with Poppy in the hammock. Had no luck again. But to be fair, uh, about 20 minutes in, the wind picked up. Uh, it was coming right across the lake against me. And it made casting out quite difficult. Um, I tried to keep the lure quite close to the water, but even then I could only manage to get out maybe 25, 30 metres. But yeah, what I'll do is after I've had some tea, I'll, uh, I'll go back down and try again. Uh, hopefully the wind will uh, die off. Um, but if not, I'll go near where that, that island is. Um, it's a bit more sheltered down there from the wind and I'll just uh, try and fish around there uh, later on uh, but for now I'm pretty hungry so I'm going to get tea on so what I'm going to do is we've got a birch bark I'm going to make some shavings on that and get that lit using my ferro rod and then um, build a fire up get some coals and then I can start cooking my tea so I've got a steak some few, uh, a few vegetables yeah a few beers to have so I'm looking forward to it what I'll do now is say I'll start making the uh, shavings on the birch bar, get that lit. And once I've got tea cooking, I'll bring you back and I'll show you uh, what we're having tonight.
Wow. It's not really well. So I, normally when I'm camping, I overcook my steak. Because uh, I like it um, medium rare. That's some perfect this time around, so I'm really pleased with that. So yeah, I've just got a nice uh, sirloin steak. Some asparagus and some broccoli. And I'm just waiting for the water to boil um, to make some instant mashed potato to go with it as well. So yeah, I'm going to make that now. Put it all together. Grab this beer. Sit and have my tea and just, uh, yeah, enjoy this uh, lovely evening with Poppy. I think Poppy's tired, she's down near camp there. I think she wants to get in the hammock. She's doing really well again. She hasn't really wandered off too far, which is good. I like to be able to see her at all times. Come! Such a good dog. Come on then, good girl. I think she's getting tired. <laughs> Normally she runs back to me. But she's uh, been awake all day today, so she hasn't really had a sleep. This way. Come. Good girl. I think I'll give it another 20 minutes or so fishing and then I'll uh, go back to the hammock relight the fire and then uh, crack that other beer open and just sit and uh, chill out with Poppy in the hammock for a while
So I've got myself back out the hammock now guys, uh, I've got the fire back on, just used the birch bite again. And it's time to have my uh, last beer. This one's a, a juice box, and the other one was a Californian IPA. Um, both really nice beers, definitely recommend them, you just get them from Tesco. So yeah, cheers guys. Yeah, it's a really nice beer that one, so it's a juice box, so as you can imagine it's very uh, citrusy. Yeah, really nice. So yeah guys, just again, I want to take the opportunity just to say, um, on my last video, um, and previous videos really, I've had uh, hundreds of comments really, and um, I'm trying my best to res respond to the majority of them. Um, I've been busy with work lately, so um, there's still a few I need to, to get back to. So if I haven't responded to you, um, I do really appreciate your comment. I have read them all, I just haven't had a chance to reply. So yeah, a few people reached out for different reasons and uh, you know, said, said the videos have inspired them. Um, so yeah, it's really humbling for me and uh, makes filming um, really worthwhile. And obviously if you do have any questions, I, I, I do honestly try my best to, to apply to everyone. Um, sometimes if I, if I reply to someone on, on YouTube and then you respond back, for some reason my phone doesn't tell me you've responded back, so I've been tending to miss a lot of uh, a lot, a lot of replies from people. So the best thing to do, I think, is um, if, if you have got a, a question I haven't answered um, on, on YouTube comments, just drop me a message on uh, Instagram if you have it, um, and that other way my phone picks them up straight away. And I'll try my best to, to, to answer any questions you have and uh, get back to you as quick as I can. Yeah, I know I've mentioned this a few times now, but I am uh, I am going to do a proper gear gear video for you guys. Um, the gear I carry in my backpack very rarely changes, to be honest. Um, might change a few things out depending on the season, such as the sleeping bag and the um, the air mat. But generally, it's um, apart from that, it's pretty much the same all the year through. So I'll, I'll, I will take my backpack out one day and uh, sit down and go for a proper gear uh, gear video. I know a lot of you've asked and um, I've been promising for a while now. But tonight, yeah, say it's, it's my birthday tomorrow. 32 years old. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought it'd be a good chance to come back out to the lakes uh, and do another overnight camp with Poppy. And then tomorrow, get up, um, spend a few hours here in the morning and then uh, drive home and spend the day with my wife and my other dog, Jess. But yeah, really appreciate everyone's comments and uh, all the support that everyone's given me so far on the, on the channel and the, and the videos. Um, filming is fairly new to me. Um, I am not taught or anything. I just I just film what I think looks good. And obviously, I watch um, a lot of other YouTube channels, um, outdoor channels, pick things up from them. So yeah, big thing with me was getting a better camera, which is what I'm using now. And then hopefully, uh, a few months time, I'll, uh, I'm looking towards uh, maybe getting a drone as well. But the big expense at the minute is the canoe. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, quite a lot of money. I've actually I've actually bought one now, guys. Um, and that's in the factory getting made. So I'm hopefully going to be able to pick that up this week. If not, it'll be early next week. And then I'm going to start getting out on some uh, some proper canoe trips. But for now, guys, just going to sit now with this beer next to the fire for a, for a few hours. Um, and just, yeah, Poppy's in the hammock, so I'll let her just relax in there on her own. Yeah, beautiful evening. Until the nights are getting a bit uh, a bit darker now. Yeah, it makes uh, hopefully get some clear skies and get some sky um, some views of the stars. I'll get the GoPro set up and uh, hopefully we can catch um, to catch the stars. Uh, if not, hopefully get a nice sunrise in the morning.
So I've just been walking on the shoreline with Poppy now guys, just letting her stretch her legs and uh, go to the toilet before we call it a night. Um, just been sat by the fire for a few hours. Um, did a little bit of maintenance on my knife, I had to sharpen the edge a little bit. Uh, and I made some notes in my uh, notepad that I carry with me, just for future um, camping trips. But yeah, not going to do too much more film now, it's getting uh, quite dark. Um, although it doesn't look it on the camera. But yeah, it's getting quite dark now. So I'm going to go back to camp, get in the hammock of Poppy and just chill out. I say I've got a few podcasts to listen to. So we'll uh, catch up with you guys in the morning. Morning guys, me and Poppy slept really well last night in the hammock, kept really warm, nice and cosy, had a great night's sleep. Yeah, we woke up this morning to some uh, pretty bad weather, it's been raining now for about two or three hours, everything's uh, soaked and wet outside of the tarp. Yeah, still a great morning to wake up to and be out here, so it's my 30 second birthday today, so yeah, great place to, to wake up and spend your birthday morning. And then once I've uh, packed up this morning, I head home and I spend the day with my wife and my other dog Jess, as well as Poppy. Yeah, I was, was hoping to spend a few hours fishing before I went home this morning, but with the weather with the bad it, as bad as it is, uh, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to say, sit and fish his coffee off, and start packing gear up and then head back after that. But this morning, just for, for quickness and ease really, I, um, I just used my gas stove to, to make the coffee. Um, you know, the gas stove is something I always carry with me in my backpack. Quite small, uh, just hardly weighs anything. But then I know I've got peace of mind that as a backup plan, I've always got access to a hot drink uh, and a way of cooking some food if I need to. So, yeah, you can probably hear the rain now, guys, bounce off the tarp. So, yeah, I'm going to finish this coffee, start packing my gear away underneath the tarp, uh, and just before I take the tarp down and hike back to the car. I'll uh, bring you guys back then.
Right, that's all my gear packed away now, guys. I've just got the tarp to take down, uh, and then uh, me and Poppy are ready to uh, start hiking back towards the car. I just want to say thanks a lot for watching the video. Um, I really appreciate it. If you like what you see, uh, drop me a comment and let me know what you think. Or hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, uh, maybe hit the subscribe button as well. So yeah, I've got a few trips planned. Uh, so hopefully get that canoe in the next week or two. I'll be able to start doing some uh, canoe trips as well. So yeah, just want to say again, thanks for watching the video. Uh, appreciate all your support. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.